from your home screen, select the planter. This is the home for the planter. Select the icon G. Right now we are working off of 24. The split rows are checked. So we are planting soybeans on 30 inch row spacing. If we were to plant on 15 inch spacing and use all 47, you uncheck the split row. Notice now how the option for the 24, uh, 30 is removed. In this example, we'll be planting soybeans on 30 inch rows. Verify that the split row check is illuminated. Next is the H icon. Verify that soybean is in the window where you can place corn or soybeans at the top of the page. Disc type is soybeans. This is your individual disc. And rows planting. In this case would be 24. You're planting 24 uh, 30 inch rows. To adjust your rate, to change rate, press the show rate icon. Take your rate as number one, leave all the rest of them off. That way you eliminate any chance of applying the wrong population. To change the rate on number one, change rate. Verify it's rate one, it's on, the target whatever the farmer desires. Enter in the target. In this example, 155,000 seeds per acre. Accept. This should give you an average spacing on 30 inch rows of 1.35 seeds per inch. Press accept. Verify that one is the desired population. The remainder are off. Toggle through your home screen until your normal run screen for planting operations. Change tracking mode to straight track. Press set track zero. We're just verifying that track spacing is 60 feet. Anytime you are using this planter as a 30 inch 24 row planter, 60 feet will be the track spacing. To adjust, press the icon. Physical width is 60. We have 24 rows, 24 rows on 30 inches. It's obviously 60 feet. If we were planting soybeans on 47 rows for 15 inch spacing, we would change this to 47. Change the second icon. Drop box to 47. Row width would reduce to 15. And your physical width is 58.750. That is reducing the width of our planter by 15 inches on both sides. That way you reduce your check row down to 15 inch instead of 30 or on your edge. So anytime you're planting soybeans on 15 inch rows, 58.750 is what is required to not have a gap uh, on the end of each of the rounds. Under track spacing, verify implement width in rows is 47, track spacing in rows 47, row width is 15 inches, and the physical width for accurate side-to-side -side pass 15 inch spacing is 58.750. Press accept and accept. You will notice now here it is 58.750 feet wide. That is what you want to see anytime you're planting 47 15 inch spacing. When planting soybeans on 15 inch row spacing, Utilizing all 47 individual units, verify that right below set track zero indicates 58.750 feet. Seeds per acre is an accurate, whichever the family farmer desires. Should be in the hundreds of thousands for soybeans, especially on 15 inch rows. 
And then you'll notice you have 47 different red bars. Since we are now, since we are not planting, they are all going to be in the red. But verify that there is 47. There is no skips. Converting from soybeans, 47 rows on 15 inch spacing, to corn, 24 rows, 30 inch spacing. From your home screen, the planter main run screen, select icon G, select split row. Now we have 24, 30 inch for a total of 60 feet. Drop down on this icon to H, crop name, press icon, select corn, show rates, verify that one is the correct rate, the remainder are all off, change rate, if that is not the correct rate, verify rate one, on target 30,000. Type in whichever the family farmer requests. This example 30,000. Accept. Accept again. You want to uncheck 47 rows. Select 24. Verify that the disc is a corn type and that you have the correct, which is Pro Max 40 for your seed meter disc. Toggle into home. Right under tracking mode, verify straight track is selected. Set track zero. Track spacing. We need to change that from 58.750 to 60.000. Select the icon, change the implement width to 24 rows from 47, track spacing rows 47 to 24, row width 30, physical width, select 60.000. Press accept, accept. Verify from your main run screen an accurate seeds per acre population is indicated. Only 24 individual row sensors are on, indicated by the gaps in between the rows. Under set track zero, 60.000 feet is entered. You are now ready to plant corn as far as things are concerned on the 2630. You obviously have to change out all the discs, the brushes, knockouts to scrapers, and uh, replace plugs and rehang the inner plant units.